Exercising in the heat isn't just tough, it's a battle against yourself. Kind of like Fight Club, only hotter. Hotter than Brad Pitt? Every minute you exercise, your body is fighting to remove heat while your muscles are making more heat. So how do you safely exercise in the heat without overheating? Here's what the science says about surviving hot summer workouts. Body heat builds up from contracting muscles and the environment. Most of the heat is removed through sweat if it evaporates. But if heat carrying sweat doesn't make it to the exit pores and evaporate, core temperature spikes and you're cooked, literally. These tricks can keep you exercising in the heat and out of the emergency room. 1. Try a cold shower or an ice slurry before you exercise. Studies show it can keep core temperature down when you exercise in the heat. Even if not, it can make scorching workouts feel cooler and easier. 2. Sweating isn't enough. It needs to evaporate. Ditch sweat-absorbing cotton. Go with light-colored, breathable, moisture-wicking clothes. They move sweat to the surface where it can do its job. Think wicking over soaking. 3. Drink 24 to 32 ounces of fluid per hour, but no more than 50. That's your gut's limit. For workouts under an hour, water's fine. Over an hour, make it a sport drink for the electrolytes. 4. Things to avoid. Peak sun between between 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. when radiant heat's most fierce. And if you're out of shape, overweight, or new to heat, go easy. Heat builds faster at high intensities. Finally, if you feel dizzy, nauseous, or confused, stop. Inside your body is screaming, cool me down. Ice pack shade and cold water could literally save your life. These cooling strategies just don't make you safer, but they can boost performance. The first rule about cooling is, you don't just talk about cooling. You do something, because the fight against heat stroke is real. As always, matches come from peer-reviewed research.